to make my point about uh, how the right wing is demonizing it, can you imagine the idea of a libertarian who is so incensed by the notion that the Affordable Care Act would provide regulations for insurance companies to cover preventative care, things like colonoscopies, things like mammographies to prevent cancer, and, of course, the evil, evil contraceptive pill. This libertarian who's so concerned about our personal liberties. Man should be free to do whatever he wants to do. But here he is saying that if you wear a hoodie, you don't have the same amount of freedom to walk the streets as I do with my suit and my jacket and my whiteness to not get shot by somebody else. But I think the biggest shame on this is the way the media has spun this thing to portray. I mean, they've already convicted George Zimmerman of just going out and shooting Trayvon, a poor little uh, baby-faced boy, uh, simply because Trayvon was walking around black and, he, and, and George decided to gun him down. Well, as the facts come out, you can see that that is not what happened. I mean, first of all, look at the pictures of Trayvon Martin that are circulated. Go on television, go over the Internet, look at the pictures. The pictures that they're circulating, I think, are Trayvon when he was like 12 years old, 12, 13 tops. There's no way the boy in that picture is any more than 13 years old. Trayvon Martin was 17 when he was killed. Why don't they put a picture of Trayvon the way he looks now? Why'd they get a picture of him when he's 12 years old? I mean, they might as well put up a baby picture, you know, show him in a, you know, in a diaper with a little rattle as if George Zimmerman is a baby killer. They take a, a, a recent picture of George Zimmerman and put it up next to, you know, a childhood picture of Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin was six foot three. Six foot three. This is not a little kid. Yes, he was 150 pounds, but 150 pounds of muscle. Take a look at some of the pictures of Trayvon Martin uh, from his uh, uh, from his MySpace page. He was a muscular kid. I mean, he, for, take a look at his arm. It's covered in tattoos. The guy was all tatted up. And in fact, this smiling boy in the childhood picture, he doesn't have that white smile anymore because all his teeth are gold. Now, I don't know if that's just gold jewelry he's got on his teeth or he actually has gold fillings, but he's all got all his gold teeth. He's got all these tattoos. He's 150 pounds of muscle, and he's 17 years old. He's not a, a, you know, a, 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 little, a little baby-faced boy. So, so let me get this straight now. Uh, this libertarian is saying that well, he had gold teeth. He had gold teeth and he's got tattoos. He's dressing like a gangster. I think he goes on to say at one point. As if this somehow is relevant. As this if somehow is relevant to the actions that Zimmerman took. Now, I think the issue here is not whether or not Zimmerman is guilty for murder. That's not for anyone who's not sitting in a courtroom to decide, frankly. But the fact of the matter is, this guy was not arrested. This guy was not even, was not even, not even in a position to be in a court. And whether or not Trayvon Martin had tattoos or gold teeth or a hoodie or was tall or was short or was 150 pounds or 250 pounds. The bottom line is he did nothing. He did nothing. And now he's dead. But for some bizarre reason, the right wing needs to somehow justify this killing. They can't say, it's a shame this kid was killed. It has to be, this kid had gold teeth. This kid had tattoos and muscles. And he was black. And he wore a hoodie. So, come on. Unbelievable. These people are just demented. They're just absolutely demented.